Hello, I'm Rob, the arts teacher. Today I'm going to introduce you to a method many artists use to create a feeling of mystery or drama or anticipation in their pictures to draw us into their pictures, to draw us into their story and to get us wondering what's going to happen next or wondering what just happened. You will have seen many similar enchanted scenes in book illustrations, computer games, anime movies, and famous paintings in big art museums. I've looked at many of these pictures and asked myself, how did the artists do it? Well, today I will share with you what I learned and I have called it the VLT method. I will unlock this code and show you how to use the same method, then you'll be able to try it out for yourself and create your own enchanted artworks. Look at these seven pictures and answer one simple question. From what you observe, what is similar about how the artists created these pictures? What is similar in their method? The first thing I noticed happens at the edges. See how the edges of each picture are darker than the middle of the picture. Related to this is how shapes at the edge are often curved in, as if enclosing the interior of the picture. This is called the vignette effect. Yes, V stands for vignette. You probably use this effect in your photo editing app. The second thing to notice is that the middle of the picture is lighter. More than this, it seems to glow with light. It is luminous. L in VLT stands for luminous. Now we need to notice the sizes or the scale of things. See how the main characters in these pictures are quite small and notice how they are surrounded by tall objects, trees, mushrooms, structures. Isn't it clever how these artists can make the most important part of their picture, their characters, so small without getting lost? The vignette effect plus the luminous middle help make these tiny characters the centre of attention even though they are surrounded by tall vegetation or objects. So yes, the third letter, T, stands for tiny and tall. Are you ready to try creating your own enchanted scene using the VLT method? Follow these four steps for creating your own VLT artwork. The first step is all about the shape of your picture and the mood you want to create. So we're going to experiment with very quick sketches here, sketching different shaped vignettes. They might be tall and thin, wide and long, round, square, and thinking about the color that you want in the luminous center. Use materials that you can sketch very quickly with and you're not worried about details. So you might use brush markers, coloured markers, pastels, coloured pencils. Step two is also experimental. Think about the characters you want. Do you know what you want? Maybe doing some sketches of different possibilities will help you work out whether you want real or imaginary characters, whether they're fantasy or sci-fi or fairy tale. Are they human-like characters? or creatures. Make lots of very quick little sketches to get your imagination working. Step three is the final stage of our experimenting when we think about what are the tall things that you're going to put with your characters to create the vignette or the surroundings. Will they be supersized plants like the mushrooms or the kelp forests we looked at? Or very, very tall trees? or a deep dark jungle? 
What's your idea? Step four, this is our final step. Lay out all your sketches in front of you. Choose the ones you like and then combine them to create your final artwork.